Okay, we're finally about to load uh, the big diesel into its new home. Uh, it's That's me pumping it up on my jack, so I couldn't really be filming anything properly. And uh, my neighbour's uh, big, big old Volvo loader is very loud, so I couldn't be recording audio either. Uh, so the plan we had was to just sort of uh, get the diesel on the loader somehow. We hadn't really made any plans. So we sort of just to fit everything and made stuff up, up as we went along. We had to take the electrical boxes off to uh, make room for the forks there. Uh, and uh, basically what we ended up doing was just strapping a couple of big uh, straps underneath it and where it went up way better than I expected. Uh, the weight distribution of the engine is pretty good for that sort of thing. Uh, and uh, now we're just going to be putting it inside the van. And uh, if we were thinking about it, it's just, it was just easier to back the van uh, into the diesel, basically, you know, rather than trying to use the loader because the van is a bit more controllable. And somewhere around here, I'm going to smack uh, the loader into the back door of the van. Yeah, I think that was it. <laughs> uh, so we've just had had to sort of bend the door in place <laughs> to get it uh, to actually you know, get close enough to really uh, get it in. You can see how the band is just sagging when we put it down. Uh, the suspension is fairly soft on these, uh, but it actually took the load completely fine. And then we're actually backing the loader off, so now the van is taking everything. And we're just pushing it in ever so slightly. We had to put some wood underneath the engine to slide it forward because the forks weren't long enough. And uh, there it's basically all inside, and we can close the door. And we're just about to go back to some live recorded audio. Ha! And that went the loader. And now the diesel has a new foam. Wow, it's a better running out of this thing. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. So we didn't really have time to get it to perfectly in there because it got pretty dark. But we have it in place. The door's close. Uh, I wanted it as far back as I could possibly get it. Yeah, so we have it like that because else you can't open the hood since we have the uh, this middle uh, middle engine in this so you need to be able to fold the hood back so it's pretty much all on the rear axle and uh, the tires are looking a bit a bit sad but there's not much pressure in these right now i think it's like 1.5 bar we have absolutely tons of space to work on this. This uh, really just, this is really good. This is much better than I did expect it to get. Much more room. I was expecting it to be much, much more cramped. Absolutely beautiful. This is good. I am very happy right now. Ah, in the daylight, we can actually see what we managed to do quite a bit better and I'm still super happy about this so the height constraints uh, I was concerned were going to be a much bigger deal than they actually ended up being uh, because this went in absolutely beautifully uh, it's you know we don't have a ton of clearance uh, vertically uh, but it was absolutely nowhere near as tight as I thought it would be uh, we have a good 40 centimeters to spare uh, below uh, the uh, edge there. Uh, we also managed to get it in really straighter than I thought and uh, to my surprise uh, the van didn't actually collapse. Uh, you can see how uh, the uh, folds on the uh, floor go in that direction and the rails on the diesel also go in that direction so we actually have like two uh, corrugations of metal holding basically the entire thing uh, but uh, it seems to be holding up just fine there were no terrible creaking noises no uh, bending or breaking sounds it really seemed uh, the van seemed to not mind the load at all 
Uh, it is a bit warm killer loaded. You can see we have it as far back as we can possibly get it. That's because I want to be able to open the hood to access the uh, vehicle's engine. Uh, I would rather, from a load loading perspective, have a diesel as far forward as possible, but uh, that's just uh, uh, not practical. So we have it just with a few centimeters of space between there, uh, which does put the, these little bendy bits at a pretty, pretty good spot, actually. You can see, you can get them through the window if, if I remind the gauges or per main to like an actual electrical box, then there needs to be like an automation box still added to this for it to work well. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy with it. Uh, the exhaust situation is still going to be a bit interesting. I'm thinking about, you can see the exhaust manifold there with the plastic uh, cap on it. I'm thinking about just getting like a tractor exhaust and folding it straight back, taking out this window and replacing it with like a metal piece because it should come out through the window if it just goes straight back. It might also, there's like a prefab uh, exhaust I can buy for these engines, which should sort of tilt out to the side. It might come out like there-ish. But removing these windows is really easy since they're just a, a rubber in place, so that's not an issue. It would also be nice to have like the exhaust come out here-ish, but that's, that's really tight. And this is uh, a load-bearing section of a vehicle. I, I didn't want to cut that because it makes the van softer. And with this amount of permanent load, <laughs> you can see this is with a, a three kilos of pressure in the tires. There, this thing is pretty heavily loaded. We still do have some uh, slack in the springs. Here we are. We are not riding the bump stops. Not that you can see much, but we're not riding the bump stops. Only almost. There is suspension, <laughs> not much to go on. So we still want to keep things. We don't want to sacrifice uh, a structural stability on the van, and we don't want to add more weight than we have to. Well, not in the back anyway. The front can take basically an infinite amount. <laughs> and now, like we have three kilos or 3.5 in the back and like two kilos in the front and these are barely even compressed like it's riding with a real a backwards lean but overall this is absolutely better than I dared expect you can comfortably drive it you can do everything oh yeah and I haven't even commented uh, I have done a really bad job of just lining this with thin aluminium a plate, the roof and the walls, the doors, just to remove uh, plastic and there's a bit of insulation behind that to dampen the sound of the engine because I want this thing to be reasonably quiet while it's running. How well that's going to work is another question. I am also of course going to have to cut some kind of ventilation holes or plumb this into an external radiator or something because uh, this is going to get really hot if we just uh, run it uh, like this in an enclosed space, so that's, that needs to be sorted, it also needs to be bolted down somehow. I haven't really thought too hard about how to actually do that, I'm thinking about just drilling some holes next to it and wrapping some steel around with some reinforcements on the bottom of a van, but uh, we'll see what uh, happens with that. Uh, I might just get lazy and reuse a couple of these to strap it down. It's not like this is thing is going to go uh, doing rally cross, and it, it's it's a heavy piece of equipment. It's not going to slide around, but you really don't want this thing. Sl <laughs> you don't want to emerge into brake and slide have this thing sliding into your ma back because that's yeah you, you're going to you're you're just going to get stuck. This this thing is lined up perfectly to just crush you. But yeah, not bad at all. I am. I'm super stoked. This went so much better than I thought.